These photos of USC students dressed in blackface were found in old Garnet and Black yearbooks with the following captions. A Sigma Nu partygoer partakes in some soul fun. A few students complete the old plantation scene at the plantation party. And a few Alpha Delta Pi members perform a skit with a student posed as Aunt Jemima. Harris Bastides addressed the photos last week in an email to students, saying, These photos will cause pain and anguish among members of our community. We must make it clear that bigotry, racism, and misogyny have no place at Carolina. No photos were publicly released with the email, so we wanted to take a look at the archives here at the Thomas Cooper Library. They referred us back to the university's public relations department, who then referred us back to the Pastini's email. They didn't want to comment on the photos any further, but we got a chance to access the Garnet and Black archives online. We found photos of blackface in the 1977, 1980, and 1982 issues of the Garnet and Black. Nancy Tolson, Assistant Director for African American Studies, explains why blackface was tolerated in the past. It's one of those things, everybody wants to sing my blues, but nobody wants to feel my blues. And so they want to look like it, but they don't want to be it. Or they feel like they're, being, they're making fun of something they don't understand. Around campus, USC students react to seeing the photos from the yearbook for the first time. Oh my god. All right. It's much more terrifying to actually look at the pictures than to just um, think about it because in all of these pictures pretty much everyone's smiling, dancing, making fun of it and that's kind of horrible. A university rich with history trying to prevent the past from haunting it. For Carolina News, I'm John Romanski.